welcome to the Emirates MBD Global Business Series, an initiative by Intelligent SME. If I can ask you all to kindly take a, be seated as soon as possible, that would be wonderful. Thank you very much. We've got enough seats. It's a very full house this evening. Okay, so another warm welcome. It's lovely to see so many of the same faces, month in, month out, and warm welcome to those of you who it's the first time that you're coming to this series. Now, the Intelligent SME is the largest platform for small and medium enterprises, consisting of a premium business magazine, an interactive digital presence, and high-profile events. The Emirates MBD Global Business Series is an occasion to meet with some of the UAE's biggest business icons. They are here to inspire all of us, and that's why they've been carefully hand-picked to provide us with some profound insights and guidance. Now, there are a couple of things that we're really excited about that we want to mention before we start the evening. Uh, now, the Global App Summit is just around the corner, and we'd like to invite you all. It's happening on June the 4th and 5th, at the Ritz-Carlton DIFC. Now, this Global App Summit is going to be focusing on mobile innovations for different business verticals. We're inviting the world's mobile thought leaders to Dubai so that they can talk to us and educate us on how businesses can leverage on the power of mobile. Now, there are going to be a lot of sessions, there's going to be an exhibition, there's going to be awards, there's also going to be a breakaway session, such as a pitch your app zone, which should be quite popular. So we'd like to invite you to attend this event, as I said, on June the 4th and 5th, and we're going to give you a complimentary silver pass at the end of this evening, so please don't forget to pick that up. And in the meantime, if you want more information on that, you can go to appsglobal.ae for more information. Now, there's another thing that we're excited about as well, and we are very happy to announce that we're launching Robust Rack. It's a magazine created for the Rack business community. Now, moving on to sponsors, um, the renowned success of Intelligent SME wouldn't be possible without the support of sponsors, partners, and well-wishers. So a special note of gratitude to our strategic alliance partners, Dubai SME, and our sponsor, Emirates NBD Business Banking. We'd also like to thank our gold sponsor, Porsche, uh, Centre Dubai, and Abuja Automobiles. Now, I'm sure all of you, as you arrived this evening, saw the car that was on display outside the hotel. It's the brand new latest addition to the Porsche lineup, and it's the Cayman S. It's high level of style, and breathtaking performance resounds with the Porsche, excuse me, the Porsche philosophy of intelligent performance, which is obviously very befitting of this evening. Um, you can contact the Porsche ambassador if you'd like to have a little bit more information on their latest edition. That's Mr. Matthias Hartmer. Could Mr. Matthias Hartmer make himself known to, to all of us? Yeah, waving over there in, in the background. So if you want any more information, go and, uh, go and see him, and I'm sure he'd be happy to help you out. Moving back to other sponsors, a special thank you to our wellness partner, that's VLCC, along with our associate partners, Anna Buddha Insurance Brokers, Petrochem Middle East, ARG SME Insurance Solutions, and our media partner, Khalij Times, Star Press, and Life OK. Now, before we go on to fill felicitate our guests. I seem to not be able to speak this evening, so my apologies. To felicitate our guests, we take pleasure in announcing a new initiative by Emirates MBD, and it's called RISE. Just like the Global Business Series, RISE is targeted for the betterment of SMEs in Dubai. Now, I'd like to call upon Mr. Vikas Thapas to shed some light. In fact, no, I'm, my apologies, it's going to Mr. Ram Raychura, Head of Products and Portfolio Management, Business Banking, to shed some light on RISE. Please could you come to the stage? Thank you, a warm welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, I'm sure we are uh, all uh, very excited and you know, look forward to the evening with Sanjeev. But I would uh, not take much of your time. Uh, as you guys know, uh, we've been doing these events and you know we see a lot of familiar uh, faces here. Uh, this is uh, another initiative uh, which we launched just a day before yesterday. Again, uh, you know, uh, 
looking at uh, supporting the SME community and you know how to get the segment as a whole up there. So not necessarily a typical uh, banking, uh, you know, selling products and services. So uh, I think uh, we've decided to take this to the next level and go beyond that. So uh, which is where we launched this uh, day before yesterday. Rise power of small to shape the future. Now. Uh, the next few minutes I'll take you through what RISE is all about, but before that, just an introductory short video. SMEs, small and medium enterprises, but is that all they are? They work as hard as bigger companies. They offer services that are on par. They deliver products of high standards and at competitive rates. They are the lifeblood of the UAE economy, and they make a difference. That's why at Emirates MBD, we believe that they deserve more. More support, more solutions, more connections to grow, to achieve, and to excel. We believe that small has potential. Small has energy, small has strength, and small has the power to shape the future. what the RISE platform is all about, you know, uh, from just being a bank that supports SME, we want to be a catalyst which supports the growth of the entire segment. Uh, so <coughs> briefly to tell you what is RISE all about beyond banking, it's to do with networking, exchange, share, learn, obviously grow, contribute. We're going to have a comprehensive platform where people will be able to do all that. Uh, Rewards and Beyond is another program which we have launched, specifically a program for the SMEs where it brings about the business cost efficiencies. <coughs> events, obviously events like this, much more events uh, coming forward. Now, the one important thing about RISE was to share, right? We all would like to share and, you know, a lot of us know a lot of inspiring stories, you know, which are up there, but when it comes to the SME segment, uh, you know, while we may know informally or we may know on a one-on-one -on -one basis a lot of inspiring stories, but we have, we on this platform have decided to put the SME customers, put on their stories, how they started small, how, what have they been their struggles and where do the, they see their future. So, uh, this picture which you see and a short video which I do, uh, initially we have covered about 10 to 12 of our own clients and short their stories. Uh, obviously, for the uh, paucity of time, we have not taken you through all the 10 12 stories. They are available on our website and also on risebusiness.com. But we'd like to just show you a small snippet of what these stories are. <laughs> My story in the UAE began in 1997. I was looking to build a reputation as a freelance photographer. We always did business. In 2008, when the opportunity strike, we jumped out. Ever since I was a child, I knew that this would be my career. After my education, I started out as an account consultant and then moved on to managing technical training centers in the UK. And the job then brought me to the UAE in 1996. Here I worked as an HSE for the Fire and Safety Department and found it to my life. What I gained from it was endless experience. And the knowledge that whatever you do, your heart still goes out to that one passion. It was a humble beginning. I did not have a lot of clients, but I had the will and slowly but steadily my business progress. In four years, I expanded the company portfolio. We are now in Europe. Asia, Africa, and Asia Pacific. We have plans to open offices in USA and Singapore. We've been recognized regionally, internationally, and humbled with several awards. It's great when you have a partner to share with and for support in every journey. For us, that support was Emirates MBD. Emirates MBD has been our trusted banking partner since our inception. 
they have provided us with a valuable services like performance guarantees, credit facilities that have proven very helpful in our business. This is our story. And we will rise. Rise is the ability to look back to where I started and to still see the most important people in my life surrounding me. Rise means to me reaching to my goal through relentless hard work. New beginnings, new ideas, creativity, and living the spirit of entrepreneurship. Rise means to continue on our journey of elevating and imparting knowledge so that we can take our business to the next level. Rise means to me the sky is the limit. Rise to us means to overcome any challenge. Sincerity and hard work getting closer to my ultimate goal in life. Rise is reaching the top based on goodwill and ethics. Rise means to me that you work for your dreams and you see them come true. Rise is to continuously evolve oneself and strive to excel at what you do. Those are our uh, very own customers, uh, short and you know, telling their own stories and you know, uh, obviously they have individually all of their full videos. Uh, so truly inspiring and as you understood, you know, so Rise means a lot to them uh, from an NBD perspective. Rise, you know, is a platform where we go beyond banking. We want people to come share their stories, share their thoughts. Uh, there's a full platform available there on risebusiness.com. <laughs> Uh, you know, uh, please do go there, share your thoughts on the platform, there's a lot which you could contribute as well and uh, initially obviously when we started we had to select our own customers but now it's an open platform so uh, any of our SME customers are here with us or not, they have a story which they want to share, please do tell us, uh, I'm sure there's a, a registration uh, form which is being circulated so if you're interested please do let us know, we will call you back and take your story. So that's in summary what RISE is all about, uh, you know, it's learning, sharing, exchanging ideas. We want to launch a B2B platform up there. Uh, content integration, we just don't want to make it another advertising campaign. So going forward, uh, these customers who have shared and contributed their stories. Being a little bold, it's not very easy in front of the camera for most of us. So for them, going forward, they'll be on radios, they'll have TV interviews and a much more visibility to showcase their business. Uh, events and networking events like this very important. Uh, rewards and beyond is a car another which I said, and of course the main crux or where the heart of the website is is in the sharing of these videos of these guys. So uh, obviously we are there on Facebook, on LinkedIn. Please do follow us. Uh, you will get uh, regular industry updates, uh, uh, regular updates from what is happening not only in the region but also probably beyond that best practices. Uh, we will closely work on this as well with SME 100, so a lot of stuff coming up on this platform and uh, hope to see all of you on there. Thank you ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much. Now, it's our pleasure to welcome our guest of honour this evening, Mr. Sanjeev Mehta, CEO of Unilever. Could I please ask you, sir, to come to the stage? Please put your hands together. <laughs> now, Mr. Mehta will be felicitated by Mr. Ashfaq Matu from Emirates MBD Business Banking. introduction of our moderator for this evening um, is a well-known personality all over. It's Mr. Tariq Qureshi. He's the founder and CEO of Vantage Holdings. Yes, round of applause. So then uh, the CEO of Vantage Holdings. He's also the media representative and advisor for Bloomberg TV and multimedia in the Middle East. Tariq, may I call you up to the stage to take over for this evening. Thank you very much. There are people here in this, uh, please, uh, Sanjeev, why don't you take a seat? Uh, I'll uh, get to that in a second. The people here who've never seen me in jeans before, I was always in suits, so this was a Thursday evening, I thought, well, let's just relax and chill and have a good time. 
and kindly our, our chief guest uh, here uh, also was in the same spirit, so both of us are in jeans, so that's good. Uh, before we start, I think it's important to set the context. Set the context of the man that we are talking about today. Set the environment in which he has sort of grown up. Because when you sort of peel the onion, when you get deeper into a person's soul, that is when you understand his true greatness. And that is where inspiration stems from. That is where creativity comes from. And that is what we're going to do today. So what we're going to do is first just to have a flavor of uh, Sanjeev's uh, life. He's from our parents uh, out of India. And uh, they have both, obviously, uh, and we will talk about his family and how his parents uh, have uh, influenced him in his early life. This is a happy moment uh, with his wife, Mona, who's here. So thank you very much. We just wanted to acknowledge your presence here. And uh, his lovely, one of his twin daughters, the other one's apparently arriving tomorrow, so we just missed it by one day. Uh, Roshni, she's here. She's studying at Cornell. We'll be looking at her. There they are. Uh, they're twins, the little twins, uh, and the proud dad, looking a little bit worried and perplexed there. <laughs> How am I going to handle this? <laughs> Uh, that's them uh, looking cute growing up, and uh, and I think a part of uh, the story as it evolves today, we will see how family has plays an, an extremely important and integral part in, in uh, a great man's development. Um, he doesn't take himself seriously; he likes to have fun. Um, there we go. Um, Festival of Colors, the Diwali, and uh, Bangladesh was another place which we will discuss. Uh, because this was one of the important moments in his life. Uh, travel, and these are the young ladies now, uh, one at Cornell and the other at MIT. Um, and this is here, probably Emmett Smithers, I think. Now, going to uh, Sanjeev himself, he was an outstanding student. Uh, as you can see, he was, he's a chartered accountant by profession, came 10th in the exam, he's, he's written amazing papers, so. He's a brain box. That really helps to grow, you know, to become good and successful in life. This is a, a sitting in the governor's seat. He was a, a Rotary scholar, so another moment of, uh, of pride for him personally. And his first job was Union Carbide. And sadly, we remember Union Carbide for all the wrong reasons. But I dare say today we're going to talk about some of the good things that they had to they did. And that was the job that shaped it. And how that shaped it, we will address that in a second. Surprisingly and interestingly, from uh, as trained as an accountant, he actually made that fundamental shift, which a lot of people are scared to do, and that is to leave behind your training, but go towards your passion and the business that you want to develop. So he actually went into sales and marketing, which is an unlikely path for an accountant. So anybody who is here wants to move into sales and marketing, I'm sure today we'll have a lot of ideas. First day, a sales manager. Union Carbide, we'll talk about that. Today, he is the chairman of Unilever for Middle East and North Africa. Um, he, uh, they started in 1992, and then he you know, developed his career. We'll talk about that in a second. We'll also talk about some of the contributions and the CSR work that Unilever is doing and part of what Sanjeev is involved in and how this whole thing comes together. Because running a global corporation and connecting with the core values of the company and the core values of uh, the environment that they're in is critical to their development. Uh, this is a very interesting and it is a very uh, relevant thing for me because uh, part of the success of Sanjeev was that he actually went right to the front line, literally, as a senior person, as the chairman of uh, Junior Labour Bangladesh, sitting with the people right to the front line, selling soaps, selling whatever it takes, because that is how you genuinely understand what's going on. And I think that will come through. And that was uh, Philippines, where he was uh, chairman, and getting all sorts of awards in, uh, in Unilever, uh, also in Dubai as a power brand. You all know it's a power brand. And finally, from Chetna, when he received an award of excellence. So this, ladies and gentlemen, is a very, very quick snapshot of Sanjeev Mehta, who is here as our chief guest, as the chairman of Unilever. 
So just put your hands together for the Thank you. And now we're going to start really feeling the energy you're seeing just for service. So let's get deeper into that. Sanjay, welcome. Thank you. Pleasure. And uh, thank you for being so patient. I know it's taken a little bit longer than uh, we originally anticipated, but you can He said, come at 6.45. <laughs> there I was, bang on 6.45. Well, we sort of, uh, <laughs> yeah, you know, appropriately <laughs> reprimanded for this. Uh, anyway, moving on. Uh, let's talk about your early life. Uh, what was the single defining moment in the earliest state of your life, the first of 15, 20 years of your life? Is there any one moment that you remember? I don't think there would be one moment as uh, 